Hi again, welcome to another Computing with Dr. D video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to install a library file into your Arduino to run the LCD panel that we did in the other video. And of course, it won't work without the right library file. Your LCD panel is likely to have a necessary include in it if you get some code, like the code I've provided in my other video, this is the code we use in my school, we will look for this online in case you can't find it anywhere else. So if you simply copy that and you put it into your browser, you should find that you'll be able to do a search for it, you paste it in, and you do a search, and it will come up with the library that that, what's called a .h file, um, DLL file, for those that a bit boring about computing. Um, it will be found here in the Arduino libraries. You can download it and when you download it'll go to your downloads and you'll see it in there if you were to, I've, you can see I've downloaded it a few times, but it's obviously in the download folder. So going back to Arduino, let's go here, go to sketch, go to include library and you've got manage libraries here under sketch and you can add zip library you go to your downloads and there is the library file in fact the one I've downloaded several times so if you go there and open it um, this is now going to be added to your library file it says it already exists and if I show you what happens well if I actually go into the library and have a look at the um, included additional contributed libraries down here. You can see that in fact I added it earlier. But in your case, you will you should see it there now or in the list up here under that liquid crystal there. So once you have that attached here to your Arduino uh, package run tool, this particular IDE interface, that will run the software on the Arduino for you and now your LCD should run. Don't forget to look at the other video and to turn that little potentiometer with a very fine Phillips head screwdriver to adjust the intensity of the light coming out of your LCD so that you can clearly read the letters and numbers that you want to display. I won't go through the code in this video. I just wanted to show you the library file and uh, Thanks for watching again. See you next time. Bye.